For cheap and safe coins, go check the link in the description and use Crassy for a cool discount. And if you wanna buy cheap game codes and prepaid PSN and Xbox cards, G2A is also down below. How's it going guys? My name is Crassy and welcome to my first official FIFA 17 video featuring gameplay. I just downloaded the demo version of FIFA 17, so in the first video I'm gonna play one or two games. Of course, I'm gonna show you the gameplay of FIFA 17 and afterwards I'm gonna share my thoughts with you guys on the gameplay. Starting tomorrow, I'm gonna provide you with a bunch of FIFA 17 tutorials that will help you improve your gameplay and become a FIFA legend in no time. So let's get started. So boys, as you can see in the first game, I'm gonna use Real Madrid, which is in my opinion the best possible team on FIFA 17 and I'm gonna face off against Bayern Munich. I'm gonna play on professional difficulty, I don't wanna go with the highest possible difficulty right now because my goal is to show you the gameplay. Passing, shooting, finishing, uh, defending, attacking and so on. Afterwards I'm gonna play on uh, legendary, I'm gonna play on world class and I'm gonna do my best to be the AI. Oh my goodness, look at those faces bro, the new Frostbite engine is just outstanding. Look at Boateng, he looks like the real Boateng. Damn, terrible tackles over there. No, 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 that's a danger. Great job Pepe, great job. Pepe is gonna be one of the best defenders in FIFA 17. Come on Ronaldo, oh look at him, the speed boost works pretty well, we've got space. Let's get in the box. Cristiano Ronaldo with the driven finish, but I should have loaded a bit more power. Come on Bezema, spin move. We enter the box. One more spin move. Ah, what a block from his defender. Oh, look at those passes. Look at those passes. The first touch is really better. The first touch of the players is much better. Modric in a shooting position. Ah, oh, that was a well played shot into the top right corner, but Neuer with a superb save. Near post! Ah, oh, Ronaldo with a header, but what a block! Come on, boys, pressure him. Great interception, Pepe. Let's go, let's catch him on the counter. Come on, Carvajal. So many rebounds over there. Pass for Ronaldo. Fake shot will be the defender, Ronaldo, Cristiano Ronaldo in a shooting position and I managed to score my first goal uh, on FIFA 17 using the new driven finish, let's see the replay, the new driven finish looks incredible guys, it looks incredible, look at that unstoppable finish, I'm definitely gonna create a special tutorial on the new driven finish tomorrow. Yeah, it's much easier to pass. The ball, pass after pass, it's much easier compared to FIFA 16. Uh, over the frame of the goal. Come on boys, the Jackie movement works pretty well. The second teammate support button is also fantastic. Let's go boys, great interception. Nice driven pass afterwards, Ronaldo with the back heel pass. Cristiano Ronaldo, oh look at that pace. Ronaldo, what a one with the keeper, but once again, I overpowered my shot. Ronaldo, incredible first touch. The first touch is really improved, fellas. It's much easier to take possession now. The Okocha flick, but damn, that, was, that would have been such an amazing goal. Vasquez, the drag back move. Long shot from distance. I must admit, shooting from distance is a bit harder compared to FIFA 16. Okay boys, that's the final whistle of the first game. Okay, let me play one more game before I share my thoughts on the new FIFA 17 game. So boys, in the second game I'm gonna go with Manchester United with Ibra up front as a striker and of course the 5 star killer Pogba in the midline. Once again I'm gonna count on the 4-2-3-1 formation and let's see what happens. Oh, beautiful. Ibra with the fake shot. Look at him, the spin move afterwards. Ibra is on fire. Mkhitaryan. Ah, what a save from Courtois. That was an amazing driven finish. That, that's a danger. Goalkeeper. De Gea. De Gea is 
Definitely one of the best goalkeepers in FIFA 17. Come on, Ibra. Can you catch up with the ball? 70 pace, bro, but he is fast enough. Great job, Ibra. Pass for Schneiderlin afterwards. Oh, look at that through ball. And what a finish afterwards. 1 0 up, fellas. I must admit, the through balls are really improved. Look at that hidden pass through the defenders. Look at that hidden through ball. And afterwards, amazing finish. Come on, boys. Pressure him. Great interception. The second teammate contain button works pretty well so far. Mikturiano with the burba spin. Rooney on the ball. <sighs> what a block. What a block. Okay, boys. We won a corner kick. Let's try a short corner kick. Drone pass outside the box. Who is there? Damn, the shooting from distance is much harder than FIFA 16. Come on, boy! Damn, he's a 4 star killer. I just tried to execute the, the Okochi flick, but I forgot that Ibra is a 4 star killer, boys. Oh my goodness. Beautiful through ball. Come on, Ibra! Spin move! Great job! Oh, what a block afterwards. What a block. Could have been the second goal. Come on, Ibra. Win the ball. Uh, he should have won the header. Beautiful. Pogba. Pogba in the shooting position. And we destroy the goalkeeper with a power shot. That was a normal finish, boys. I didn't use the, the, the driven finish. I didn't use the finesse shot. I just... Use the normal shoot button to score the goal. Rooney pass for Pogba. First time finish from Pogba. Come on, Rooney. We've got space. Finish shot. Could have been an amazing finish, an amazing goal, but decent save from Courtois. Well, well boys, I definitely need to work on my shooting. Okay boys, let me do a quick review of the gameplay of FIFA 17. First of all, the new driven finish is absolutely amazing. I need some time to master the driven finish and afterwards I will be able to score 9 out of 10 opportunities from inside a penalty box because in my opinion, this is gonna be the game changer method for scoring goals from inside a penalty box. When it comes to shooting from outside the box, well, I must admit, the launch shots are downgraded. It is even harder compared to FIFA 16 to score from distance. I expected to see OP launch shots like the ones that we've got uh, in FIFA 15, but unfortunately, fellas, we're gonna have a lot of trouble scoring from distance. And what I liked about FIFA 17 is the fact that the first touch is improved. Now the player doesn't need time to take possession. You can play pass after pass after pass without losing time. Also, I really liked the new throw balls. It's way easier to play the perfect throw ball. It's way easier to deliver a hidden pass, a hidden throw ball through the defenders. Well, we are talking about the defenders, so let's talk about the defending in FIFA 17. Unfortunately, there aren't any new features. Once again, you need to count on the Jackie movement and on the second teammate support button to defend in every single situation. But don't worry guys, I'm gonna create a lot of defending tutorials so you will not concede goals after watching my videos. Ok boys, that was my quick review of the gameplay of FIFA 17. Of course, I'm gonna continue playing matches, I'm gonna test out the gameplay, I'm gonna try out every single technique, every single defending technique, every single attacking technique, so you can expect a lot of FIFA 17 tutorials coming out in the next days. As always, thank you for watching, my name is Krasi, don't forget to follow me on Twitter, to follow me on Instagram, to follow me on Facebook for the latest FIFA 17 news, and as always, I will catch you later. Bye bye!